to complete this circle of wickedness. But again, think about how far we've already slid. The American Bar Association comes out and says, lawyers are going to spy on you. By law, they're going to tell the judge and the prosecutor everything about you, and, but they don't have to tell you. And by the way, we're not going to let people represent themselves because well, they keep winning all their cases and having a better track record. And, and well, we're a private uh, m monopoly, again, out of London, England, and we're going to make you do that. Here's another one. Your cell phone is now a tracking device, and uh, this particular uh, story is out of the Green Bay News paper. And the reason it's interesting is it says, yeah, in 2001 they passed a law that all new cell phones, well, the law was passed in 96, it get activated on October 1st, 2001, five years later, that all new cell phones have to be satellite trackable. That is, there's GPS in the cell towers, they triangulate your cell phone and follow you, even when it's off. And they said, well, the governor, uh, Doyle, got together with Homeland Security and we don't just need the feds to be able to monitor this. We need the local police to have a tracking system for everyone just to keep track. We punch your, your, your code in, Social Security in, and if you've got a cell phone, it pops up where you're at, even when your phone's on. I mean, imagine trying to tell this to somebody 10 years ago that, well, well there's going to be a big, giant federal office, but it's secret, and it's going to watch you as you drive around with your cell phone or in your car. And then they go on in these articles to say, by the way, the government... I also had a feature put in, it wasn't really mentioned back in 1996 when it was passed, that they need to be able to covertly turn your phone on and listen to you while you got it. But again, it's to stop terrorists. We passed it many years before the terrorists, but we said the terrorists were coming, and you know, this would all be needed. Here's another one out of the BBC, spy plans for new cars. And I remember about eight years ago, a listener sent me a truck driving magazine. It was how great it was. All the new cars, big rigs are going to have this. We're going to track you and tax you a little bit. But it gives you more service, and it's going to be a wonderful thing. And then I, about four years ago, had this uh, Wisconsin uh, uh, state uh, congressman on. Remember the legislature? He said, yeah, I'm on a federal board. I want to warn everybody. I see my news article got him on. He said, I want to warn everybody. I've been in the federal board meetings. Within five years, we're going to be taxing all of us to drive our cars and regulate us. This is horrible. They're going to track us with them. And the guy sent me a full cool copy of the federal plan. I had it right there, and I was warning everybody they're going to do this. And people calling around the street, oh, Alex, you've gone too far. They're not. There's no way they'd get away with that in America. There's no way they'd be able to get away with that. I'm not going to put up with it. <laughs> and then Oregon comes out and goes, we've been involved the last five years in a federal study, and we want to, uh, by uh, 2004, to make everybody be taxed, drive their cars. And just so happens, the Associated Press reported, Five, six years ago, all new cars had to have the plug-ins in the ignition for the satellite tracker box in them. So it's a $25 unit, and you just go in and pay for it when you get it, buy a lot to get your tags, and we just track in, track shit, and, and look, if you get a fuel-efficient car, it's not going to cost that much, just a few cents a mile peak times. you got an SUV, it's going to be 60 cents a mile. They, they said this. And, and so they're stomping us all up, another divide and conquer thing. Look at them with their big cars, you know, some petty, low-level, uh, class envy stuff to sell that next wave to you. And, I mean, I'm looking at it right here. Spy plans for new cars. And uh, they say not only is it a satellite tracker system, and Canada's starting this, the U.S. starting this, it's all, Germany just made it the law. They're phasing in over the next five years to make it, you know, all new drivers have to have it. And then in four years, everyone has to get it, you know, five years. They're always really good at that. Again, they understand the mindset of a mammal that, well, yeah, I did see a lion back over there about a mile away, but he's over there eating somebody else right now. It's being, it's being phased in. <laughs> oh, we don't have a chance to run. We're in a pen with these people. we still got some small projectile weapons, which they're kind of worried about. We'll have massive attrition with our stormtroopers if we attempt that move at this point. It could then be a backlash to it as the enemy has victories. No. No, we can, we can brainwash them and let them keep their guns, and then a tiny fraction will resist. By then it will be too late. And as Josh Sugarman said from the Violence Policy Center, we've already got your kids. We will ban all guns. So it's very serious. I mean, and, and I predicted years ago, again, once you know these people, it's not hard to know their, their plan, that they would have Hollywood people and, and, and rich people take microchips. 
And so you see them all over the news, how wonderful microchips are and how we all need microchips. And, oh, this Hollywood person is getting one for their, their child or daughter. And, oh, look at the family, the, uh, you know, the Chipsons. They're so cool. Everybody's got to have it. You know, the same newscast in the same order on every channel saying the same thing, word for word, off an, off an admitted script. If you're watching daytime TV dramas, you know, uh, or, uh, or, or cop shows, man, we wouldn't have, that kid wouldn't have gotten kidnapped if he just had the Applied Digital Solutions chip. Well, here's one out of the Herald Sun. You may have heard of this. Microchip to watch Prince Harry. Prince Harry to be fitted with a surveillance microchip during his year-long holiday in Australia. It's to be implanted under the skin for his safety. See? Wow. Man, you got to be. That's a major status symbol. It's like the satellite tracking. Ooh, I have OnStar. I have OnStar. Uh, it's, it's a status symbol. You need to have them remove that if you buy a Chevy vehicle because now it's standard on all the new ones. And that's the same federal... Package. Ford's announcing to make GPS standard. See, oh, it's standard, and by the way, there's a tax, and by the way, we set this up five, six years ago. See the premeditated nature of it? See how it's, they build the infrastructure and then put us into it? I remember four years ago being on the radio and going, here's the Army War College document. Here is the public plan. They're talking about hive minds connecting us all in by law with microchips in our brains by 2025. The Army War College brags how they'll use the media and hype and peer pressure to get the people to accept what they would have never accepted without the brainwashing, the conditioning. And people go, man, you flipped out. I can't believe that. I put a link on my website to the Army's website, you know, dot .mil. And they go, I can't believe they're saying that. The Army's job is going to be implanting every citizen with their own chip. But they actually said that. And then everybody saw on the news the last two years after the terror attack, they suddenly played up child kidnappings that were actually way down, but they played them, they played them way up and said, what's the answer? And suddenly on every network at the same time, microchips, implantable microchips to track and trace you. I mean, this stuff sounds crazy, but you have all seen it on the news. You've all seen the unified propaganda, the systematic crafting, the same phrases, whole paragraphs on different networks ex spoken exactly the same. And see, that goes into the nature of the staged events. The, they're calling it a Patriot Act debate nationwide. Ashcroft's hearing your concerns. They, they drive the guy in secretly to the hotel where he gives a speech. No one is allowed in. They frisk the media. Only allow certain members of the media to ask questions. This has all been admitted. They said, watch kooks that talk about implantable chips. And all these nuts that talk about urban warfare training and black helicopters. And all of a sudden... Years before they launched all the helicopters on us and the raids and the training to get us ready to get rid of Posse Comitatus, the 1878 law that uh, bans the military from engaging in law enforcement activities, they would say, crazy people talk about black helicopters. It's a code word for absolute evil. And then when the helicopters and the urban warfare training hit Texas and the rest of the country and they were blowing up buildings in front of people and terrorizing the population, Czechoslovakian troops running around, they went, of course, we're just doing some training to get our military ready. And uh, yeah, black helicopters exist. But still, people that warn the public about black helicopters, kind of this icon, you know, this, this icon or symbol for urban warfare uh, training, conditioning, they go, but you're still weird to talk about them. You're still weird to talk about implantable microchips. You're that weird guy who talks about all that weird stuff. I'm like, why isn't it weird when it's on the news? Right. See? So that's built-in defense mechanisms where people don't want to face a threat. So they want to just deny what you're saying. They want to deny what you've told them. They don't want to believe it. Everything's been made so, so comfortable for us here while they euthanize the human spirit. Here's one out of Television Week. We posted this on InfoWars.com. Television Week. Big magazine. Industry magazine. It says, is your television watching you? Television week. Could the federal government find out what you're watching on TV, even if you're not the subject of a criminal investigation? The answer is yes, according to legal experts and industry officials. Under the USA Patriot Act, this stuff, they built this infrastructure. They had it all lined up. Go day, go day. Building it, building it, building it. To launch the primer that was September 11th. To roll us into the next phase. I mean, this is diabolical. They're on a plan, and we have derailed it. Make no mistake, we would have already seen more huge catastrophic attacks, not the little pinpricks just to remind us of the terror. If, if you wouldn't have been out there involved, speaking out, 